What is up guys, I'm back with more GTRP, we are in my SUV, like usual, but let me turn that brightness down again. Okay, there we go. I mean, if you want to train in, like, early tomorrow, or late tonight, we can. But, I really don't know, because it seems like no one cares. <laughs> some dark windows in on that truck. It's Mr. Smith, I'm just gonna keep driving. Not pulling him over again. I don't know, I flipped around on it his window tent, but I could possibly be gonna follow it and see how it's driving because it's going reckless right now. Oh my god, okay. This is Mr. Smith, I'm flipping her. Okay, well, I'm gonna have a 1038 with that white truck Union Road. If you want to back me up, you can. Hi there, sir. Oh my god, come on. Mr. Smith, come on. What was it this time? Your window tank got my attention, then you were swerving in and out of your lanes. I was in my lane the whole time, but uh, the window tank is perfectly legal. It looked darker from where I was, but now that I get close to it, I can see through it. You're driving, though. I don't know what to do. I was on the bike side of the whole time. I mean, I might have been over a little bit, but it's hard to see where I'm. Okay, why do you have another truck? I just pulled you over yesterday. I told you to drop me off at the phone, so I could get my work to me. First, he has a snow covered mesa, then, he has his wife's white grassland. Then he has his white truck. Now he has his white work truck. How many freaking cars does he got freaking pull out? This is like the best character I've ever pulled over or role played with in this freaking game, I swear. <laughs> yeah, Okay, sir, what the heck? 
That's all I got for you. What the heck? That's literally all I got for you at this point. This is the... In the past two weeks, I've pulled you over about seven times. You went to jail the one time. This is your fourth or fifth car already. Fourth. I know that, sir. How many cars are you going to pull out of your butt, sir? I know that, sir. I was just thinking. I was saying it over the radio how many cars was Bob Smith had registered to his name that he's been pulled over with. There's been a white Gressley, a white Mesa, a white truck, now this truck. Okay. Yeah. This truck is not really good to me and registered to my work. What is your work? This is my boss's truck, and his name's Frank O'Neill. Okay, sir. Being that you're Bob Smith, and it's basically Christmas, um... I'm just gonna give you a verbal warning. I know all your stuff. Your, this truck could be stolen. I don't know. Alright, um, uh, you gotta take a paper that I can write down and just take a verbal warning. Okay, this is number four for verbal warning. The other one you went to jail, the other one you got a citation. Yeah, this is like number six, so I mean, I'll keep it back. Okay, sir, have a nice night. Don't kill anyone. Don't steal any cars, hey, please. Hey, my boss is calling me. I'm gonna take this call. Okay, good. You can go. Don't text and drive. Right. Have a nice night. Good for you, sir. Have a nice night. <laughs> <laughs> if I pull him over one more time tonight, I'm freaking arresting him, I swear to god. <laughs> um, the one time I gave him a citation for speeding, the last time he... Wrecked now, just now, his reckless driving, but there was multiple times earlier in real life day that he did a lot of jank crap and I pulled him over like six times, but that would be like two weeks in role play time. So, yeah. Cole and DK and Derek are all trying to get me to join them, but invite them because we already got something going. Okay, guys, so basically Mr. Smith has been pulled over multiple times. I swear there's probably going to be some episode in the near future where they wreck or something. I will see you all next episode. Oh, we're